Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. For this skills check, it will be up to you to help Ozobot win a soccer game. There are 30 seconds left in the game and Ozobot has the ball. Can you apply what you have learned about line switch color codes to program Ozobot to move past the other players and score a goal before the timer is up? For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated color code markers, and your Introduction to Color Codes Lesson 9 Skills Check Activity Sheet. In today's lesson, you will draw color codes to program your bot to run on a 30-second timer and draw color codes to program your bot to switch lines and move in a set sequence. Let's get started. Find the start of your activity sheet. The first missing color code will program Ozobot's speed to move around the soccer field. If you had the ball in a soccer game with 30 seconds left on the clock, how do you move? I would move really fast too. Look at the color code's key to find the speed you will program Ozobot to move at. I will put the turbo color code in the first empty boxes closest to the start. Can you use your color code markers and the color code's key to put the turbo color code in the first three boxes after start? Now that Ozobot will move quickly around the field, it also needs to be programmed to stop when the game is over. Since there are 30 seconds left in the game, Ozobot will be programmed to turn off after 30 seconds. The second missing color code after the start is the timer on 30 seconds to stop. Look at the color code's key to find the correct sequence of color. I will put the timer on color code in the second group of empty boxes after start. Can you use your color code markers and the color code's key to put the timer on color code in the second group of boxes after start? After the timer starts, Ozobot will begin its route towards the goal. There are eight lines Ozobot needs to move on and off of to avoid the seven players on the other team and to reach the goal. The third missing color code on the line after start will program Ozobot to avoid player one and move to the next line. What direction does Ozobot need to move? Ozobot needs to turn right, so the missing color code is a line switch right. Look at the color code's key to find the correct sequence of color. I will put the line switch right color code in the last group of empty boxes after start. Can you use your color code markers and the color code's key to put the line switch right color code in the last group of boxes after start? The second line Ozobot will travel on has two missing color codes. What color code do you think will go on the line end? That's right. A U-turn will go on the line end to guide Ozobot in the correct direction past player two. Once Ozobot is traveling towards player two, what direction will it need to move to go past player two and sense the next line? Ozobot will need to move straight, so a line switch straight color code is missing. I will add a U-turn on the line end and a line switch straight. Can you use your color code markers and the color code's key to put in a U-turn and a line switch straight on the second line? Now it's your turn to figure out the rest of the missing color codes to help Ozobot get to the goal. I'll give you a hint. Next, Ozobot will move down the line and need to turn to move past player three. You will check your work and debug later. Can you work on your own to figure out the other missing color codes?
Time to see if Ozobot can score the winning goal in 30 seconds. You will put your bot on start and watch as it follows the color codes to change speed, start the 30 second timer, move from line to line, and celebrate. Can you put your bot on start? Then watch your bot as it moves quickly for 30 seconds from line to line until it reaches the goal. Did your bot move to the lines in the correct sequence? Did your bot make it to the goal and shoot before the 30 second timer was up? If not, check your color codes. Line three should have a U-turn and a line switch right. Lines four and five should have a U-turn and a line switch straight. Line six should have a line switch right. Line seven should have a U-turn and line switch left. Line eight should have a U-turn and a win exit play again. Check your activity sheet with the correct missing color codes. Debug or fix any errors if needed. Then run your bot again. Make sure your skills check is complete. Does your activity sheet have color codes filled in for each line? Does your work show how Ozobot moves on and off lines in the sequence to get to the goal? Does your work show how Ozobot completes a goal following a 30 second timer? Does your work show how the speed, timer on, and line switch color codes can be used together? If you're looking for more to do, you can make a soccer ball or soccer player costume for your bot. Write a short story to sequence the last 30 seconds of Ozobot's soccer game, or make your own game for a friend to play using the timer on and line switch color codes. Come back again soon for our next lesson.